Hello and Willits, all men's stories. And I'm here with Mark Fogelson. Mark is sort of a neighbor. We have lake cabins in the same lake area. We do. Yeah. And uh, you live in a different county, of course. You live in Becker County? Becker County, um, Big Elbow Lake is where the cabin is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I fished Lizzie here a few times, like I said. So. Yeah, bass fishing. Bass fishing, that's the only thing to do. Well, unless you're hungry, then you can fish crappies. Yeah. 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 When you're, by the way, have you noticed we have rocking chairs here for? Yes, rocking. Isn't that cool? Old men's stories and rocking chairs. Doesn't that really fit? That's what we need for old men like us, right? Yeah. <laughs> and the song is I Dream. You know, that's your first one, isn't it? That we, on this new album. The first one on this album. Is it? I can't remember. I I'm dream. so old now, I can't remember. I Dream. <laughs> That's the name of it. I dream. I dream. Huh. Well, I can't remember. Well, you remember what you had? <laughs> you remember anything about the song? I moved is the first one on the album. I moved. Is it I moved? I have to change it. It first must have been. One, I, it must have been. I must have been listening to it and I heard I dreamed I moved or something. Yeah, maybe. maybe. Oh, well, there we go. Impossible. I, I think the first one on the album is I moved. I, I moved. moved. I didn't okay. know it. I mean, that's true. <laughs> We did move, and that was okay. And was that a physical move, like you move locations? You know, I've been living on that farmstead for many, many years, and all of a sudden, I got a little letter from the postmaster from Manoman, Minnesota, and said that I didn't live where I lived anymore. I lived on a instead of a gravel road, I lived on a avenue. And, oh. and that, that's you know when they get those little blue signs that they got all over the place. That's now, right. You got yeah. one right I got there. one. Right right there. Everybody yes. does, you know. And, yeah. I was kind of ticked off at it, actually. I yeah. didn't really appreciate having to you know, get a different address. It was like, we no, yeah. don't want that. So whatever, it was that, that's how that Did song Did you give a number to they give you one of these long numbers? Oh, sure. 2951, 110th Avenue. And it was, you know, like it lived out on the gravel road for all those years. Is why it was kind of odd to me. So. That is sort of weird, isn't it? Kind of ticked me off. But I guess that's the way it goes, right? <laughs> I agree. It's like I have the same thing here. It's like Washburn Lane. How the heck did they come up with the name? Why it was just a gravel road next to the house. Yes. Yeah. That's a little. By Dun Villa. That's what it was. Yeah. 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 Well, I don't know, but they want to know where we live. I guess. Oh, I yeah. I mean, I could see the number there for fire. Yeah. yeah, I could see the fire number, but I couldn't. I just couldn't see why we needed like 110th Street. 110th Street from where? 110th Avenue. 110th. I, my, yeah, that's where we were. 110th Avenue. And, and the interesting thing about it, when you get to the north end of our county, it hooked up to the next county road, and that was called a street. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, it made sense to me. But that's what happened. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I totally understand. I, go, I drive around with the RV a lot, and, and you get one county to another, and they have the weird, all of a sudden, everything changes. It's like, it's like we're going to do it different in our county. Yeah, I why? Think so. I don't know. Uh, why? I mean, you created this universal thing, and then all of a sudden, it's only works for the county, and it's 110 bucks from the center of the county. I don't know how yeah. they figured it out, but it's not even relevant anymore. It's like it's like we're two three zero one two Washburn Lane. Now you got to get two three zero one two. That's what, mm -hmm. five digits, mm -hmm. and we're three three doors down from the beginning of the Washburn Lane. Mm -hmm. The beginning, very beginning, and we're about 10 doors down from the end of it. Oh, so, <laughs> how did they come up with that huge number? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'm not even going to begin to ask. That. I moved. Yeah, uh, I move. That's what we call government at work. Yes, it is. <laughs> but, you know, they, it'll help with fire, maybe. Who knows? Well, I love the fire numbers. I mean, fire numbers are pretty good. Yeah, so it worked out fine. And uh, so just adjust, that's all. So you, so you create a song from it? Yep. Mm -hmm. That song just kind of popped out and said, there you go. So there it is. Now you have a Fargo accent. It's absolutely awesome. I love it. People down in Arizona ask me, are you from, you're not from around here, are you? You're from up north Canada or Minnesota, they say. And I say, well, Minnesota, yeah. And you have you have you have a really cool because I, I listen to your songs and you really emphasize it. You emphasize it. 
Oh, I can overemphasize it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, that's true there then. No. But, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> you, do, <laughs> you do it really well. You know, I love telling Norwegian jokes. Yes. Yeah, Ole and Lena jokes. I, I have some pretty special ones that people just dearly love. And of course, you have to put the accent in there when Ole talks and stuff. So, yeah, it's fun. I enjoy that. Let's listen now to Mark Folgerson's I Move. 